All right, so we made it to Orlando. We're here at the little cute little Airbnb. I haven't made it to the store yet. I'm so tired that I may end up eating my chicken and a little bit of vegetables and going to bed. Like, I am that tired. Oh, and so just doing this trip just wiped me out completely and I am just exhausted. I did stop by and did my check-in with my coach Lynn and her husband Dr. Green to kind of see how I'm doing, how I'm looking, everything's looking good. We still want to be careful with cars just because of the way my body responds but we did a little um, little testing thing to kind of see like how I am doing like with certain foods and it definitely grains are not my friend but anyway so I am going to get comfortable and maybe even just take a nap and go from there I'm so tired and so it is Thursday we are two days out from stepping on stage loose skin and all i crashed out probably about 8 30 last night so i didn't even really worry about eating i was just i was so exhausted after that trip i just took so much out of me with my carbs you know being pretty much low like my energy is like i was dead so i woke up about a little after 6 a.m and so i took a shower finally washed my hair when you have extensions it takes forever to blow dry it out so i was like let me blow dry some of it out, let it air dry. We're gonna get an Uber or Lyft, whichever one's cheaper. And then, oh, alarm clock say to wake up. I'm fixing to get a Uber and I'm going to head to Walmart, get some groceries so I can meal prep for the next couple of days. That way everything's prepped. Uh, I'm gonna do a clean carb up for um, the show day because it seems like I did a little um, kind of little test thing. I'll talk about it more in a little bit. Um, but I, I seem to not, my body does not like um, grains. So like some people do like rice cakes with peanut butter and stuff like that. Well, we want to keep it very simple. I do okay with sugar, so fruit is going to be good for me. So I'm going to do a banana, a little bit of peanut butter, and honey. Um, that way, it, I don't overdo it and I don't retain too much fluid. Yeah, you know, after the show, I am going to enjoy some grains for sure, maybe. We'll see what happens, but most likely, yes, for a little bit, but not too much. Because we can't overdo it because most likely I am going to Worlds, with Worlds is in August. So, yeah, we cannot over, over, overdo it, but... I'm gonna head out, get to the store, and I will show y'all when I get back what I got. I'm back from the store, so I did went grocery shopping. So let's see what I got. Here we are. So I did get some, this so I can cook my food in containers to take my food with me. And then I have my chicken. I have some strawberries, tilapia. I have got a little bit of tomatoes, blueberries. For my um, carb up before I go on show, I'm going to be doing peanut butter with banana and honey that way i keep it clean and simple because my body does not like greens and then i got my zucchini asparagus for my vegetables avocado for my healthy fats and i got some um, sweet potatoes for my carbs i did bring my scale and these are my seasonings that i'm going to be using the mrs dash because they don't have salt in them and I, I could not find a smaller container, but I did find that one. I did like that one. And I got some minced garlic, so some olive oil spray. So we are ready to cook and get this baby on the road. All right, so I seasoned my chicken. I know I seasoned like crazy, but this is what I use. Pretty much the same seasoning, some Mrs. Dash. And yeah, the salt free stuff and a little bit of pepper and cayenne pepper. And we're gonna throw it in the oven about 450. Uh, probably about 10 minutes to 15 depending on how it cooks all right so the fish is done I already broke it up into three meals for tomorrow and then I cooked up some chicken and then over here we have the sweet potatoes right there and then in the ice box and the fridge whatever you want to call it I have asparagus berries and more zucchini for tomorrow and then of course I have my um, some pineapple and then I have my after treat brownie all right so I cooked up some food we have some zucchini sweet potatoes and our chicken all right so I am back I went and got my nails done so yeah and then um, I went to there was a mall nearby so I went and did some walking around the mall looked around and bought me some new lipstick 
of course MAC so hopefully it'll do good but let's take a closer look at those nails because they are gorgeous and here we are they are freaking amazing she did a great job with them I love them good morning so we are officially one day out one day out from the show um tomorrow is show day today is friday so that means it's registration so i'm here at the airbnb i'm gonna be headed to the hotel in just a little bit um that's my food it's getting done i'll show you what it is in just a second i wanted to show you what i was doing for packing my bag so this will be a great tip for anybody that is going to be competing and traveling because it's a lot all right so we have our ice cooler bag which i found it at walmart and then they have this little blanket thing which is really cool and so i froze it so i got an airbnb for a couple days so that way i can cook my food and meal prep it all so i am packing my bags right now that's the food i'm going to eat before i head to the hotel it's nice and clean but yeah this is a little ice blanket so i put my meat down there so that way i know for sure my meat is covered up and then I'm just going to pile everything in here. I already have three meals prepped for today. I have my scale so that way I can um, measure out my food for tomorrow after I eat this. And that way we are good to go. I don't have to really worry. And I just measured everything out. And because I have everything in containers, I let it cool. And then I put it in the containers. That way the heat doesn't bring in those chemicals into the food. Um, but yeah, so I got everything. I'm fixing to pack everything and we're going to be ready to go to the hotel and get our tan today. Yes, I'm headed to the hotel and I am about to get my tan. I exfoliated, made sure I shaved. Everything is good. Hopefully my body will do good with the tan. I don't have any hiccups. Um, so tonight's registration, so I'll get dressed up and we'll go check in because this is the type of show where you come dressed to impress wbff is about the fashion so think of it this way uh louis vuitton this is like the louis vuitton of all bodybuilding type of shows but it's a fashion and fitness type of show so it's a little bit different than your typical um, bodybuilding shows but for me they have transformation i'm not ready for any other categories right now i want to make sure before i ever do step on another stage for another category that my body is right there and it's ready i'm gonna have to probably give my body a year to just be in a little bit of a surplus that way i can build as much muscle as possible because i don't want to go on there i want to make sure i am completely ready and also probably doing a year off from being in a calorie deficit is going to help my metabolism a lot just to eat at maintenance for a little while and go into a surplus a little bit not too much but be healthy calories so that way i can build muscle um, as much as I can, but you know, of course I'll keep y'all updated on everything I do in the future as we go So we are here at the hotel. I did get checked in early freaking amazing I got I'm on the 25th floor, but I'm getting ready to go get this tan and then we will be back nice and dark Well, hello, we are all nice and tan and dark. So I'm just getting things situated going to get ready for tonight in a bit gonna kind of unwind and just relax eat a little something in a minute and um yeah so we have our jewelry and heels and of course the suit it is beautiful getting ready for uh, registration tonight and I'm just ironing out my um, my robe to wear for it with my suit which of course has warrior just on it I love it so I just uploaded my YouTube video about peak week so I am having my 
berries right now. I have my berries and I'm having some of the 100 calorie, the almond pack, um, almonds and walnuts because we got to have a snack that way we can keep some energy so that way when I step on stage tomorrow, I don't feel dead. I'm not too sure what time I'm going to go on, but I'm going to be getting ready here in just a little bit for registration. And yeah, so I'm fixing to start getting ready. So yeah, I have all my food here and the little ice box. They have a microwave out there where I can um, do it. But this is why I did it. So that way I can have an Airbnb to cook my food. And then when I come to the hotel and check in, like I'm good. I don't have to worry about it because everything's downtown. So I want it to be here. And we were required to stay here at the hotel, I believe. So I didn't want to risk anything. So that's why I did that.